Hello ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls out there in YouTube land. My name's Twist the Blue Man. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a basic flat weave. You're going to need two balloons. We're going to weave again. I just taught another lesson a couple of minutes ago for me. It was the last lesson before this one. It was a flower weave. This is a flat weave. You need two balloons. Blow them both up. Doesn't really matter how much because again this is a technique not a sculpture. But I'd say you'd want at least half the balloon blowed up for this. Tie a knot, one, and another one. You'll also probably find it easier for the first time that you do this, that you use two different shades of balloons or two different colors of balloons. All right, flat weave time. We are going to fold the balloons over each other. This is what a flat weave is. I would start this with a pinch twist. Do a one finger bubble and a pinch twist. And another pinch twist in the other balloon. Like so. So you have this. Next you want to measure how much of a flat weave you want to do. I'm going to keep this kind of small because I want to keep it all in the camera. But you can do this as big as you want. It doesn't matter. Now bear in mind, the bigger the flat weave, the more balloon it takes up. So I would keep yours small to start with, so you're only going to deal with two balloons. So four fingers is pretty good. Twist one balloon over top of the other balloon. Now you twisted the light balloon over top of it like that. Spin it around. So you now you have the pinch twists opposite ends. We're now going to measure straight across four fingers. Make a four finger bubble and twist it into the other pinch twist. Spin this around a couple of times. This is the beginning of the flat weave. This is pretty much all we're going to do now. It's going to be rinse and repeat. Instead of doing pinch twists, we're just going to do little bubbles. We're going to do a one finger bubble and then measure four fingers over and twist it. Finger bubble, make a one finger bubble in the other balloon. The balloon should look like that. Twist it like this. Twist it around. Okay, so you have two bubbles on this side, you only have one bubble on that side. So you have to bring it back around. Now, when you bring it back around, it's going to be hard for you to twist into this. There's ways you can do this. You can pull it through the balloon. It gets to be a pain in the neck. Or you can do what you do with a bird body, which is grab the balloon next to the balloon, the bubble, and then spin them around each other. Once, twice. Okay, you have two on the front now, two on the back. Pretty cool. Now, you don't have to keep the same colors. You can alternate them. All you have to do is spin them around again. Just make sure you're not untying them. You can spin them around again, and you can alternate the colors. So, do another one finger bubble. Measure four fingers across. And another one finger bubble in the other balloon. There we go. It's going to go right there and twist. So you now have, I'm going to spin this back around to the original so you can see. We only have three bubbles here now. But over here, I need another one. Spin it back around, measure it against the other bubble. There you go. And we have it and roll them around each other. Once, twice, it's now locked in place. That's how you do your flat wheel. You can carry on doing this and you get good at this. It's another thing that doesn't take a lot of thought. Your fingers kind of know what they're doing. You can make, if you want to, 
You can make this wider and thicker and it becomes a wedge shape. Or you can make it thinner and it'll become a pyramid shape. This is a flat weave. Making it a little bit bigger this time. Spinning around. You can make all sorts of shapes with these. This could be the body of a guy. Okay. You could then turn these into his arms. These could even be shoes. Bring that back around. This has lots of potential. This is a flat weave. Very cool. Very easy to learn compared to a flower weave, which is a pain in the neck. You're just dealing with two balloons and you're laddering them around each other. It should be very cool. Very easy to learn. Have any questions? Send me an email. Hit me up on this video. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.